Oh, I'll win this one. Uh, the goddess is winning the original sin. Before we go to the Phantom Forest, there are still two things I need to do here. Uh, one is the Cordelia quest, and another is. But I, I haven't even asked my question! Uh, that is right, because you there round, is girl. nothing you can or one. want or may do besides in. guarding the god's damn door. You hear? Loud and bloody well played! Uh, Yes, the magic of the mark flows through me, and know their souls, how they wail. I benefit from a magic more powerful than you could begin to comprehend. It nourishes me, and the souls I harbor feed it in kind. Cordelia, mother of lives and deaths, she found the ancient spell that would give me life. The spell that would consign those souls to me. And her work grows and thrives. Brothers and sisters alike to me in function, but double, triple, one hundred times in capacity are being born across Riverland. A new order is forming. No longer will souls waste their power in the Hall of Echoes. Let them better serve as food for a new species. <sighs> Tara and her husband Hortum, their souls call out to one another, but they are blinded by the curse upon them. Their confusion is an elixir I sip from at my leisure. Their bones wander the earth as tradesmen, content enough their fate is not one to be mourned. They serve a purpose. Their corpses perform a function, do they not? And their souls give me delicious, agonizingly delicious life. Such a decision is not yours to make. Their souls are mine, gifted to me by the priestess. You cannot take them from me. You cannot have them. If we free them, their torment will end. They'll be reunited after being so terribly abused. Let this evil weave its magic no more. Take them if you wish. There will be more. There will always be more. My kind will grow in ranks, and yours will serve only to sate us. Horton! Is that you? Charlotte, darling, I'm here! Gods, after searching for so long! I didn't think I'd ever find you! All was darkness! All was chaos! Never again! May we never part again, my love! I find the orc Tubalard that did this, I'm feeding him his own nethers. By the goddesses, tits, I'm parched! Then shut your mouth and go get us some wine, why don't you? 
Now there's an idea with a ring to it. I'll be right back. Is there anything more life sapping than standing guard? Oh, Dying Dying text to every kind. Get them before they turn to ash. I've got my eye on you. Even you permanently find a worthy scrapper. Don't talk to the small bones, brother. It only makes eating them all of this pleasant later. Maybe only getting smaller Me? than a you. I'm just fine, sir man. And you? They didn't spare a soul. None that couldn't serve them whiskey shit, anyway. Shit, shit. I'm just fine, sir man. And you? Poor little toys. Poor quiet Murdered in toys. their beds. At least they didn't suffer. Shit, the villagers shit, left to the Orc Queen suffered far worse shit, fates. Shit, shit. Poor little toys. Poor quiet toys. Oh, hello, funny lady. Oh. I'm just fine, sir man. One, two, wee! Yay, yeah, new toys, new toys! <laughs> but, where's mum? Well, what's, what's she want me to do with you? Something's wrong. This is the monster who killed all those villages? This? This child? You want me to. But this can't be right. The orc, I remember, he was... He was evil. A sadistic monster. This is... Oh, my head is spinning faster than a broken bumblebee. Let me... Let me get a good look at him. Hello. I remember you. We used to be friends, didn't we? Yeah, we were great friends. We played all the live long night and I made pretty red ribbons up and down and down and up your face. Where'd your ribbons go? Do you want I should give you small? This isn't right. I'm gonna be sick. It's all right, Medora. We're here together. No harm will come to you. Sorry, pretty toy. Oh, please, please don't shout. Oh, Mum will be awfully cross if I make a ruckus. Mum! Oh, the best mum in the whole wide world. Usually, orcs like me... Well, scramble-headed, me brothers call me, are killed right away. But Mum says she took one look at me I knew I'd be the best warrior in the world. She brings me lots of toys and friends, and she showed me all the best games to play. Grutilda. Yeah, that's my mum's name. <gasps> Did you meet her? Did, did she want us to play together? Comrades, my mind's racing and my heart's gone like a snare drum. To be here face to face with my greatest enemy and to find that he's he's not at all like the villain I'd worked up in my mind. It's it's unimaginable. I've hated him with every drop of blood in these veins. Hated him till my entire being screamed for revenge. But now I find he's as simple as a child. Maybe he even thought all the cruelty, the death he inflicted was a game. And all around us, more victims. And years stretching behind us, and years stretching ahead of us. More dead bodies, tortured and wrung by his hands. But you, comrade, time and again you show me the valor inherent of forgiveness. You face the impossibly cruel or weak and you offer them a second chance. Still, I... I cannot forgive this monster. He may well be confused, and he may have been mistaught, 
but that won't stop him from killing again. Ho, oh, comrade, in the name of the order of the sauce hunters, I ask you to lay down forgiveness and to join me now. To arms! Uh, uh, are you mad at me? Oh, I'm sorry. Whatever it was, uh, I'm not oh, doing God. it again. It oh, I promise. Hard. Some dugongs, you nearly startled me out of my boots. Well, comrade, I'm a source hunter, born, bred, and trained. And that there was a soul bent on committing evil deeds. I know full well he wasn't 100% accountable for his crimes, but I couldn't have stood to leave him living knowing there'd be a next victim. I'm no fool, comrade. I know it wasn't an easy case, not nearly so easy as I dreamed it to be. But I believe we've done right here today. The first thing you should know, my friend, is that I am not a human. I am in fact a true cat. At least, such was my start in life. I will tell you all, and all begins with Cassandra. Her tale is not a happy one. 
She was kept like a prisoner in her brother Bracchus's castle, locked up alone in a tower like some fairy tale princess. One day, though, I came along. A young little tomcat that climbed up the branches of a tree, reaching her window. She was kind to me, fed me well, and petted me to my heart's content. But her loneliness drove her to do more. She was a sorceress, you see, and with her magic gave me human consciousness and a voice to give it expression. We talked the days away, content to know one another, but once more her loneliness drove her further. One morning I woke, and to my horror, yes, horror, I was a man, a cat no longer. Don't worry, she assured me. You can be your own self still, but here with me, a man you must be. Despite my confusion and apprehension, I admit it didn't take long for me to enjoy the newfound pleasures of a newfound existence. I loved her truly, loved her deeply. But then her brother took her, and when she returned, she was a lich, twisted and vile. In terror, I recoiled, fled our tower, and was soon discovered by Bracchus's sentinel. They dragged me to the Mad King. So enraged was he to discover she had loved another that he feasted all his wrath upon me. All that is sweet and good in life ceased for many long years. Yet, despite it all, I loved Cassandra still, remembering the woman that was. So when the Source Hunters came, I wasn't simply liberated like I told you. No. I searched for Cassandra and, knowing she'd be executed on the spot, helped her make her escape. I, Hunter, I helped a sorceress lick escape. And that is the very reason I'm divulging all this. To warn you that she is here. Yes, it is true. Cassandra is the phantom that gives Phantom Forest its name. I fear that will indeed be inevitable. This is her forest now. She, its queen. No trespass remains without consequence, and I have no clue how her mind twists and turns after all these years. Human yet, or horror only. Humanity. Oh, how I hope, imperfect though it may be, that a glimpse of humanity may still lie buried beneath the Lich Cassandra is today. Be that as it may, stand warned that she possesses phenomenal powers, and that she is impervious to the sting of sword or sorcery. I haven't laid eyes on Cassandra in many ages, Hunter, and I fear for what you may find. Fear for what I may find. What a tale that was. A cat turned human, soon swept into all kinds of misery for all his troubles. He has lived through the worst humanity has to offer, but at least he briefly knew love, the best. Agreed. Perhaps one day he'll love again, and see there is value to be found in being human after all. Zandalor's amulet is protecting me, but the spectral taint has no effect.
aware of the Spectre's taint. It seems only the area directly around the bridge is haunted. Tree swallowed her whole. A stranger perversion of nature I've never seen. <laughs> My target dances in shadows.
sweet relief. I feel better already! Into the fray once more. Back on my feet again. my gauntlets for a hot drink. Stance of the Stutch! Too cold to concentrate.
bones lit, skin heals. You will submit to me. You will take the guise I have given you. What do I spy? Remarkable. A living, breathing something, it seems. You dare to approach me here, mortal? Don't you know who I am? Don't you know what I do? The sister of the king, of course, the f I am Cassandra, queen of the Phantom Forest, the only king, Bracchus Rex. But it's no wonder you haven't heard of me. Strange, isn't it? Our love greater than the gods themselves can tear you from time. To hide his weakness, to conceal his greatest misdeed, power he gained. And with it, a terrible fear of death that hounded him ceaselessly night and day. He soon determined that he must diminish his risk. My brother is a clever sort. Bracchus discovered that while we lived, the forge could not be broken. And so he turned me into an immortal creature. Living, yes, but wedded to death. We were lost to one another. We who had walked hand in hand through all of life, but I've never forgotten his betrayal. No, I've spent centuries searching, seeking, until the perfect solution appeared before me. How better to have guaranteed my brother hated his own cold, cruel heart than to make him feel my torment. I discovered how to restore our soul forge, and I determined to bind our souls once more. The torment of the never-arriving grave would have haunted him as it haunts me. The pain his betrayal caused me would have been his to save her. But in the end, my brother found a worse fate than any I could have devised. Source King that he was, Bracchus was stricken down not once, but twice. Is that so? You, a frail mortal, laid low the eternal crown of Bracchus Rex. How sinfully inglorious. Yes, how humiliating for the so-called Lord of Chaos to find himself run through by a slave to age and order. I do believe thanks are in order. To show my gratitude, I will allow you to roam my woods at your own discretion. This is no mean feat that I swear to tolerate the stench of your living flesh, mortal. Take it as a tremendous honor. Is that so? And how might I weigh the debt of a mortal? Still, 
I do suppose we could come to an agreement. Ahu, the one I love, is reluctant to admit that he loves me too. He is a stubborn one though, that pussycat. And he has mastered the magic I once filled him with better than I had foreseen. There is a spirit in this forest called Shiera, who is known to possess like rarities. It is an anomaly. A plant that is said to have grown in another realm altogether than Rivalon. The first garden, a place of myth and miracle. There, so the spirits of this forest told me, it bloomed and delighted with its fragrance no more. Its magic is one of permanence. A magic as eternal as the world from whence it came, and with it, what I want will be mine. Oh, my lover forever. Obviously, but that would be a disaster now, wouldn't it? There is nothing left to discuss, oh frail little thing. You were always the only one, Ahu. I need you back, and I shall have you back. Centuries I've seen. Thank you. 